Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back here at Apollo Racing Club for another week of racing action. This is a special week. It is going to be the last race of our red, white, and blue all over season. We're going to be celebrating that at Watkins Glen, which should prove to be pretty exciting. One of my favorite tracks here on the uh, on the schedule, second, I think, only to uh, Seca. And uh, we are... Uh, it's going to be an interesting race. Uh, just taking a look at the practice times, uh, we have been seeing pretty much, aside from the race leaders, everybody within about a second of one another, so we should have some nice, tight racing here. But with it being the last season of the, or last race of the season, uh, joining me in the commentator's booth, as always, is going to be Tom Castellani. Tom, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good, thanks, Matt. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty universally-liked track, I think. Uh, everyone seems to enjoy it. It's really fast and flowy, and I'm really, really looking forward to this race. And we are going to begin this race. There's the green, and Matt Byrne is going to be the first one to leave or cross the start-finish line. And he's going to charge up. Looks like he's going to get out in front of that BMW to get an easy time through there. Let's click back on the grid so we can keep an eye on the... from Andrew Sear in the Porsche, and we get another pass from Tommy Kogan there in the Audi. Oh, there we go, Tommy Kogan starting from the pits, now in P12, doing an excellent job of working his way up the racetrack, only a matter of time until he catches up to who is going to be next. It looks like Ice Tin is going to be the next in the crosshairs. Watching the battle for third place. Nick Schwartz trying to fend off Spencer Brown. Now just two tenths between the two BMWs, and we can see that uh, Spencer Brown has got the speed here. Let's see if he can get around him. Oh, they're wheel to wheel now. We'll throw it up on this screen here, and we're going to watch a drag race. He's got the inside line. Who is going to break later? It looks like the BMW on the outside. Nick Schwartz breaks later, and it's going to cause a little bit of a correction there. But that. Ooh, Oh man, Spencer Brown carries just a little bit more speed on the exit there, and now they're going to go, look at this, still wheel to wheel, making, uh, making Nick Schwartz go the long way around there, but that is going to net a position there for Spencer Brown. Oh, but it's not over yet, folks. Now we've got Nick Schwartz going around the outside and makes the pass happen and takes the position back. Good Lord. I was gonna say still side by side, and that was, I, I don't think I've seen two cars go side by side all the way through the bus stop and make it through like that. That was, what, that was impressive. And oh, as we see Eric just getting away with it across the grass there, but he has lost some speed and that's allowed. Andrew Sear to get a run on him, and that's that's a move completed for Andrew Sear. So Andrew in seventh place now, and Eric oh, now getting surprisingly up the inside of Andrew, and he's made the move already. So he's going to have a clean exit into the bus stop. So clearly a really strong portion of the track for him, but it gives him the inside for the next corner. They touch just a little bit. They both seem to get away with it. And now we've got Max Hunter left in the back of two of them. So we've got a really tight three car battle here. With Andrew looking up the inside. Oh, we can see him poking his nose. He's just, I don't know, it just trail breaks it through there. And that's pushing Eric out enough that Mac has been able to take advantage of it. Still side by side, Mac. And oh, it feels like a bit of a dive bomb. And it, do make, it does make contact with Andrew here. So. Oh. Well, I managed to hang on to enough traffic or traction, excuse me, to get up the hill and in front of Eric Chang there. Did to uh, defend a pass from a oh, no. lapping, and that's the only. 
only thing. So he doesn't necessarily... Oh, wow, Eric Chang makes a great move there. Capitalizing on a mistake out of Max Sun's in the lap there and nets himself another position in this three-car battle has changed positions once again. Chang looking to get on the outside there. Now switches back on the yeah. inside. He's getting very close between the two of them. They're side by side, wheel to wheel. Lamborghini forced to go on the outside there, and Eric Chang is going to make the pass happen. Nice and clean for as tight as that was. Manages to find gap for the Boatley.